let's take a closer look. I'm currently en route to downtown Canton, Mississippi, but first I wanted to show you guys this old house. This is the Greaves house from 1907, and I don't think they want anybody going up front. A lot of it's roped off. I don't know if it's safe or not, but there's a lot of ghost stories from this house and I know they've done several videos for TV shows about this house because apparently downstairs and I think you can see a little bit of the bottom right there there's a basement and they've heard cries of men down in the basement but look at this fence before you go up to the front you don't really see fences like that anymore and the house is just massive Right now I'm in historic Canton, Mississippi. There's a lot of history here. They've also filmed a ton of movies here, including a brother Arthelm, my dog Skip. A ton of movies have been filmed here, but I want to show you guys something very interesting. Now this is the Madison County Historical Society, this building. They have a lot of different things going on in this building sometimes, but a long time ago, it was the old Madison County Jail. The jail was built in 1870 by Valentine Warner and closed in 1969. Now, it is the Madison County Historical Society. But what's really interesting, if you come around to the side of the building, they still have the old bars on the windows, just like it was when it was a jailhouse. And look at this door. They definitely didn't want anybody getting in and out of that. You can even see the old keyhole right there. Now obviously it's bolted up and I've made it to downtown Canton, Mississippi, right on the square and straight ahead is the courthouse, the Madison County Courthouse. Now this area here has been used in such movies as My Dog Skip and Oh Brother Arthur, and they also filmed another movie here called A Time to Kill. I did an old filming location of My Dog Skip and Oh Brother Arthur. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom of my videos, you can find that video, but I wanna show you guys pretty much the entire square here in Canton, Mississippi, where in my heart is a real life Mayberry. This sign is basically saying the building has been here since 1854. If you come out here during Christmas, pretty much all of this reminds me of the Osborne's Festival of Lights they had at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Everything is covered in lights. The gazebo over here is covered in lights. They have huge Christmas trees and all the lights are twinkling and there's Christmas music playing. It is so much fun. But there's old timey music playing in the background and if you're walking around like I am right now, you can't help but feel like you just stepped into the past. And maybe you could see little Opie Taylor walking down the street here or perhaps Barney Fife driving around and directing traffic it just feels like home right across the street here is the old canton cinema you gotta love the little mural thing here on the front and the old sign canton cinema the a is missing these were where they used to place the old posters and tell you what was playing and here they're just advertising the canton flea market and the arts and crafts show that they have every year down here in canton mississippi and my grandmother actually takes place in this and sells different things it looks just like this you guys can see the old courthouse there and right here's the square different people having different booths set up and selling their goods you just gotta love the look of these old cinemas i mean this is incredible there's no telling how old this is or how you even got in I want to say the door was right here and that was the way you get in and they just eventually covered it up but I could be wrong this is the Willie Morris and my dog skip movie museum now I have no idea if this is still open but if you look inside you can see different props that were used in the movies that were filmed here in Canton and there's a copy of the movie my dog skip right there with Frankie Muniz and Kevin Bacon. It's locked. We can kind of look inside and there is the famous toilet seat with the dog just like in the movie My Dog Skip. And there is the witch's crypt that was used in the movie My Dog Skip. They had to transport that thing all the way out to Yazoo for the filming. There's a bunch of different props inside from all the different movies that they used to film down here in Canton. Unfortunately, we cannot get inside today. If you guys look in the background there, it does say Willie's bedroom. That was actually the bed and everything that was used in the room that Frankie Munez lived in when they filmed My Dog Skip. You just never know what you're gonna find down here in Mississippi, I'm gonna tell you. That, that caught me by surprise. I actually got to go in there right after My Dog Skip was filmed because I had a lot of friends who were in the movie as extras. And I remember when they were filming it down here, it was really cool, you could drive up and they had all the streets blocked off where they were filming. I didn't get to see in the movie stars and everything, but my dad and I did take a trip down here and 
course back then no one really brought a camera with them so I had no way of documenting it but it was so crazy to think that Kevin Bacon and Frankie Muniz were here filming a movie back in the 90s. And Canton, Mississippi is about as small town living as you can get. And if this isn't Mississippi enough for you, look at this magnolia tree and how massive it is. Now I do have a magnolia tree in Florida where I live, but not to this scale. This is what they look like here in Mississippi. They are massive. And as a kid, we would always climb up on trees like this. I mean, I remember going all the way to the top and I never fell. I've actually never broken a bone. Knock on wood. In fact, I'm gonna knock on this tree because magnolias have always been good to me. This is pretty interesting. In this window here outside this building, they had this little guy on display here, and it says this is an important figure of the square in Canton back in the 1800s. He had a job of announcing the news to all the citizens. So he would just stand on the square right here and yell through that little thing and deliver the news to everybody. An old timey barbershop here, just like Floyd, something you would see in Andy Griffith show. Now back in the day, once upon a time, one of these buildings here with the interesting ceiling, the very top of the roof here, was where they sold coffins. And a friend of mine who lived here told me the story that they had the roof look like in the shape of a coffin. That way when you were searching for the place to go buy your coffin, you knew that's where it was. Straight ahead is WMGO Radio. 1370. I'm not sure if it's still a radio station, but that sign has been there for as long as I can remember. And that's the old WMGO building right there. I'm not sure if they still broadcast here. And right across the street here, they had this old Coca-Cola mural and ice cream sign. I do think they have repainted it several times for different filming purposes to get that old look, but it's still the original design on the side of the building. You gotta love that. I love seeing these old signs like this, especially this old seal lily ice cream. You eat it with a smile. I've never heard of that ice cream company. I wonder if it's only Mississippi. And of course, this old restaurant sign. Now this has been here for a very long time. They just fixed up the neon recently. You can kind of tell on it, but man, something about old signs that get you. You're wondering the kind of food they sell here. They have red beans and rice with sausage, baked chicken, and you choose two sides, a regular cornbread roll or crackling bread for $2 on top of the $8.95, and that's with your cake included. You cannot beat those prices. Now, Mississippi is known for its folk art, and I've been seeing these a lot lately, these different wooden box man and woman and they usually have a dog with them with the different colors and everything these are pretty neat they're always coming up with something new within the mississippi folk art world so thanks for watching and thanks for taking a closer look at historic canton mississippi with me today here on the world of micah hope you guys enjoyed watching if you're ever in mississippi look up canton mississippi and drive down here and take a closer look at this small town for yourself it's a lot of fun and they got good food be sure to visit my website worldofmica.com and subscribe to this channel if you would like to see more videos youtube.com slash world of micah until next time everybody stay weird goodbye